Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me 23, and we're going to do the morning inspirational reading for the overall collective, and this is going to be for Saturday, okay? So hopefully everybody's doing good. The energy here around um, throughout the world is crazy right now, again, um, we still are experiencing, you know, the effects of Mercury retrograde, getting out of that energy. Also, a lot of spiritual warfare is still on going on, okay? Um, a lot of sabotaging is going on. So you are getting through certain things the best way as possible. Um, if y'all saw my What's the Channel Arasha, if you were subscribed to that, if you got to see the last video, that video where like I broke down and I like went off um it got deleted on accident and here's the thing I already told y'all I was having issues with uploading videos so when the video remember that video is alive typically it doesn't take that long for a live to go through the uploading phases but you can always typically look and see if y'all know what I'm talking about. If you are you, your own um, content creators on YouTube, you're able to see when it's like showing HD upload, um, you know, and it's uploading the rest of it after the video has been uploaded and it's been played. You see the different, you know, transitions that the stages of videos go upload. So this one said, wait. And it didn't have anything on it. It was just plain blank. Usually it would have the title that's tied to it. Or like I was saying, it would have something that will specify what video it belongs to. So me, I thought it was one of the videos that all the other three, you know, when I kept trying to upload videos, I felt I thought it was something that was stuck. It turned out to be that video because it was already here it was live and then if y'all know it like how youtube separates it it has two different in the studio it has two different things they are even when you go into yo um because you have to now is they they change their platform so much you have to go to find all your videos if you want to look at them all at once you have to go you have to move these different things i forgot what this like i said i feel like salesforce is helping you too because everything that they're doing it's like they're creating extra tabs so it's harder for you to you know m maneuver through which is also going to cause people that are really not passionate about this really learn the system so they are hoping those people verge away because they're not really taking the time to learn what's going on with you which i understand their game plan but at the same time it's you you if you're not if you're not watching the videos or the little things that youtube is saying about their new features and stuff you're gonna get lost and it's that simple but that's that happened <clears throat> to me but it was just so weird because it said wait and it didn't have any other information the video was blacked out it didn't have any time because usually you could see the time you could see the title you could see a date um or you could see like the picture of the background kind of sort of and that one didn't have anything so i was like okay it has to be one of these videos that because the other video was already downloaded because again it was alive it was not even downloaded it was alive so it was nothing that i had to download so that's why I was thinking it was some one of the videos that I uploaded because usually that's how it shows up for uploads. So when I saw that, I deleted it. I just clicked to delete it, and the next you know, it deletes the whole live. It deleted that, and then it deleted the live because it had a if you if you know how the studio is, it separates. So it's like it's a box. So it have the box that's up here that's still like going through this little hd uploading or whatever whatever and then you have the ones that's underneath here that has a line and then it has all the videos underneath it and this one just had wait it didn't say anything next to it in the description and then my live and all the other videos was right here at the bottom of the line it's a line that separates it like if you were doing a, a graph or if you were making a PowerPoint or a presentation, you know how you separate it? It's like a rectangle with a line. It's, it, it's to separate it. 
So that's what I, I'm just let, explaining to y'all. If anybody was wondering what happened to that video, that was what happened. But again, everything happens for a reason. Um, I think I got the piece that I needed to get out of that reading. What I went ahead and did is that the names that came out of that reading for the ones that saw you, they're going to go back in the treasure box. But the cards that came out, I did put them over there in the pile because I had already put the cards over there in the pile and the names were sitting here because I was putting them in getting, you know, I always put it in the description box. So the names were sitting here on my bed. So I was like, I'm not going to go over there and pull those names out of the thing. Because once I do names in a, from the treasure box, whatever comes out, I have a separate pile that's there because I, we won't get to those until we recycle, reshuffle it all over again. And then same thing with the names. I always take whatever falls out. It always goes over. It don't. I don't put it back into the basket until we're into the end of each basket, right? And that's how I have always done my treasure box reading. Some people are not that way, um, but that's me. Okay, my uniqueness and how the the way that I run mine. Um, so let me let's just get started. I just wanted to say that and explain that. I don't want to didn't want to spend a lot of time. Uh, for that, I will timestamp this video, but let's see what's going on with the morning inspiration. So the ones that y'all that got to see it, y'all got to see it. So bear with me with these because this is gonna, this is a real playing card, but it has, this has inspiration words on it. And then this has like, uh, uh, different, uh, stones on here. Okay. And then it has words that for each stone meeting. Okay. So bear with me. Okay, so this is really the first time I'm really getting ready to read, you know, a full deck of cards because each deck, the aces, the you know, the hearts, the 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 hearts, the spades, the the clubs, the the diamonds, the the jo the jokers, the jacks, the king, the queens, those all represent a tarot deck. The some of the the major you know the 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 it, it's it's the same kind of thing and i i'm it's neat for the ones of y'all that know how to read it i i'm learning it so bear with me i i'm don't don't i ain't saying i'm an expert in this but you know you have to always uh, start off somewhere so we're gonna see how this goes so let's see so again this is gonna be morning inspiration the climb back is playing in the background by j cole so you could be climbing back or your masculine could be climbing back. You're climbing back. We're all climbing back if we all are understanding our journey and getting back to our true identity and our true purpose and where we truly come from and what we are meant to be accomplishing, right? So the bigger picture could definitely be, you know, on the forefront for you because you have went through so much, right? As far as when it comes to obstacles, when it comes to trials and tribulations, when it comes to, you know, getting through diversity and uh, and all that, you accomplished a lot. So now you see the bigger picture when it comes to situations. Um, your viewpoint has changed. So let's see what's going on. So we got morning inspiration for the overall collective, morning inspiration for the overall collective. Even if you check, you catch this video and it's not the morning time, you're meant to catch it when you catch it. Okay, so let's see whatever flipped over probably is going to take that one too so we have the king of spades and the three of diamonds so the king of spades is the king of swords the three of diamonds is the three of pentacles and then we have the two of cups so there definitely is somebody that's thinking about taking this relationship with you to another level um, with the three of pentacles, they're wanting to come in and invest in this relationship between you and them. Diamonds is pentacles. Hearts is, um, you know, of course, cups. And the spades is the swords, okay? So this is Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini energy, okay? Uh, wanting to give and in, put into a relationship. Somebody definitely sees you as a mutual friend. Two of cups represents mutual friendship. You have this number 32 energy here. So somebody could be seeing, you know, in an, in an, in an, in an energy of 32 or an energy of 23. I'm going to say both, but definitely could be 32, okay? Um, this person could move a little bit. They, I, w I won't say there's a difference between it's the same bloodline, right? With the 32 and the 23, but there's a difference as far as energy, as far as maturity and how the person moves and how they cooperate. They both can be, 
you know, uh, you know, powerful, strong leaders and uh, motivators and confident and, you know, be the be the, on the good side. But their bad side could also be, you know, more manipulative than a 23 energy per versus a 32 energy, vice versa. They both have the negative characteristics of whatever level that they're on. OK, so um I just feel like whoever this is, you and this person have had or you have had a lot of, like I said, things that you have overcame and now somebody's wanting to give into this relationship, you know, the way that they are was, are supposed to in the past. They possibly were not doing that because they could have been playing more on a strategy of how to win over you, right, than working together. And then when they did work with together with you, it was always a hidden motive or hidden agenda to overthrow you after they worked as a team or made the sure that they gain your trust is what I'm hearing. So somebody, this could definitely be an energy of how this masculine feels if they were on your shoes and they were looking at it the other way around. Um, and you know, it's sad to say that that's the masculine, you define feminine, if this is, a, if this is, Whatever type of inspiration reading this is, is meant to come out this way. So let's say with these masculines, these masculines don't understand that until after they fucked up or a big time where it's no return or like when they really are at their breaking point and they're ready to surrender and go towards you in the relationship. And that could take, that takes forever, right? Because they always, like I told you, they always have that they're all this person has always had a strategy of getting over on you or getting over on people to their best advantage right okay is what i'm getting from this okay so you have the seven you have the I was just, the number seven could be significant so you have the king of swords so it says i refuse to give up because i haven't tried all the possible ways and just just imagine what i just said if that person is moving and strategizing in that energy i'm not going to give up because i it's so many possible ways that i can get over over on this person just think about it just it it it, per, it fits perfect on what i just said and i just explained okay so that's how this person was moving and it says my drive and ambition allows me to achieve my goals so in in the good side of this whoever this is this person it, you know, if they see you as the love of their life, they're going to play. Like I told you, this definitely could sound like twin ray energy. I don't know why I feel like it's twin ray energy or it could definitely be like, and I, I feel like twin ray energy and divine partner energy is kind of the same right now, but both of their egos are different, but they both are involved with sabotaging one another's journeys um, in an intimate way, in a friendship way, and especially an intimate way, right? Um, so it, it's, if you understand the, the journey of a twin Ray and a journey of a twin, a journey of a twin Ray and a, and a journey of a divine partner, it would all work out in the end. So like I told you this person, it, yeah, twin Ray, this has to be twin Ray or divine partner energy. Cause regardless if I play you the wrong way, it's going to all work out in the end. And I feel like this is how this person, their ambition is totally different than yours, Divine Feminine. And like I told you, if they have to throw you underneath the bus or if they have to play you bad, they're going to do that. But they're going to also make sure that they pick up like they like. Oh. Don't let the money come between us. You know what I'm saying? If they did it for money they're not going to let the money come between us because in the in the end of the day they love you like they they know that you are their all and be all right so they're only going to allow the money or the fame or the bad intent be there so long and then once they see that they're out of the clear like this person will oh yeah a trickster like a, a real true trickster like a real true trickster, a real true, like, I, I don't know why, I, I, I a trickster. This person is a, is a big trickster, okay? But they will trick people to where it would end up causing you to win, both of y'all to win in the end. 
right so this is the one that you needed like so if a twin ray needed it this is the twin ray played both sides should everybody has possibly played both sides you know one point in their time in their life but now where they we are like i, I just i need y'all to understand like what type of position whoever this masculine is and what they were in or this feminine was whatever position this feminine or this masculine was in okay but it would all work out their goal was to succeed in whatever it is that that was set up for y'all it says i accept my emotions and let them serve their purpose so i this person is accepting their emotions again their friendship y'all's friendship is is too strong for this masculine to allow it to just break up this is what this person is saying you, even if y'all are not lovers y'all's friendship you are a true friend to this person is what i'm getting okay it all worked out. It says, I trust myself to make the right decisions. Yeah, this person's decisions just was, you possibly don't agree with the decisions that they made, but they made crooked decisions and good decisions and crooked decisions that left, left that led y'all to, it all work out. <laughs> a better, a better, a whole total different thing lifestyle right and i feel like this person didn't damage y'all's relationship like in a way where you said if they did do bad things you really don't really know right that you they they still haven't really got caught but you know it's there they have some type of involvement in it you understand what i'm saying so this person could cloak themselves they have a cloak they have a cloak this person uses a cloak in the spiritual realm Okay, this turned out to be a different type of inspirational reading. So this four of uh, this is four of uh, pinnacles. Okay, four pinnacles. Okay, so let's keep moving forward. So let's get these other deck. Let's see what's going on. So somebody had a strategy, and again, I played. I played my game. I played it to the best of my advantage. Whole, you know. Even if I did hurt you and hurt me, I did it for the best. I did it for us. And that's what this person is going to be saying. I did it for us. Okay. And that's when you have to really realize, okay, did they really betray you? Did you lose anything? Did you get hurt? Did this person really protect you? Because some of y'all, if you think about it, this person possibly really did protect you because you ain't got touched. In some type of shape or form so whatever they come to tell you about what their involvement is however you look at it i feel like you're gonna and you're gonna you know how you're gonna know how this masculine or this feminine rolls right some of y'all know that some some of y'all masculines got a crazy strategy and the way that they move is fucking crazy and some of the stuff that they do you would never just sit there and do or even think about even doing it right Unless you knew you was going to get away with it. And maybe this person knew that they was going to get away with it. But I still wouldn't do some of the shit that they know. No. Crenshaw was playing. That was a, one of the, the names that came out in a reading. Was it that reading? I think it was. All Get Right. All Get Right by Jay Stone and Nipsey Hussle. If anybody saw that reading. So let's see. We got Inspirational at West the Chattel Arasha. So Inspirational reading for the overall collective morning inspirational reading for the overall collective so i feel like the morning inspiration for this is a little bit different you have a masculine realizing the true meaning of y'all's journey and what all he laid you know what all he gambled y'all's relationship for and took risks for okay hoping that it would all work out now bear with me with me trying to pronounce some of these stones Okay, because I'm pretty sure uh, if I can't. Okay, we got Pearl. So some of y'all is Pearl. Ain't Pearl. Okay, which me and my daughter was just talking about that. She went through the car. Or she was like, Pearl's a stone, Mom? I was like, yeah, it's a birthstone. And I was like, I think it's April. Bur Pearl. I was like, I, I don't know. I said, I don't know which one it is. 
birthstone. April is diamond, right? No, it's pearl. June is June. Gemini. Mm, there go y'all that energy. So this could have definitely been an air sign. So that's June. June is the birthstone. So this is okay. So June. There go the six. Yeah, June six month. Okay. So it says love, trust, emotional healing. See y'all see all this shit connects, bro. Like I told you, some people, I said in that reading that it got that got deleted on accident. I said if people really do how to read tarot and really understand what these cards mean and represent and not be scared, bro, they gonna be like, Why did they we should have had lessons about this in school? They should have taught us this in school. But you know they can't because again they that that school system's about a part of controlling the mass and keeping you slowed down and dumbed down. They don't want you to have this much power and know have this much wisdom, and have this much trust and faith in yourself. All right. So pearl. So June could be very significant. June the third. June the second. Um. You know. Uh. March the 2nd, February the 3rd, uh, February the 6th, March the 6th, okay? So pearls, some of y'all could be needing to wear some pearls, okay? Somebody's name could be Pearl. So you have a uh, Cardillion creativity confidence and passion yeah so somebody has a strong passion for you so you have the six of cups energy here okay that's going back to the past okay the past so there could be certain things that could be coming up from the past okay past people past situations you have a four here so you have a four of um wands so this represents uh your home situation somebody could be wanting to come in and tell you about a past lover that they slept with okay now you got june the 4th march the 4th and uh february the 4th june the 6th i mean uh april the 6th april the 3rd and april the 2nd okay so somebody has, like I told you, their creativity. They were creative. They were very passionate on the strategies that they came up with in order to get you in the end and have it ba work out for the best in the best of y'all's fa favor. This person is like, and I want to say they could be, they you could call them the jack of all trades right now because they was an assassin at one time, your lover, your friend, shit, the killer. You know what I'm saying? They played all roles. All roles, the perfect actor is what I'm hearing. So somebody, you could be wearing pearls and cardelian. That would be pretty. Okay. What else we have here? Love and trust, emotional healing. Somebody could definitely see your energy as a sexual healing. You have a four of hearts here. Mm. You have Amazite. You have fertility playful and it says optimistic yeah this person was keeping staying i'm very optimistic on their game plan you got a 44 here okay so you got april the fourth here somebody could be um age 32 36 34 24 Age 44, age 64, age 43, age 42, age 23, 26, 24, okay? So I do feel like somebody had a strong game plan on how to defeat y'all's enemies Even if he wind and dine or she wind and dine the enemies, they played their role the way that they were supposed to play their role is what I'm getting from this. And let's get one more card. Now, let's get the inspiration. We're going to see. So I feel like, okay, these are the two we're going to take. Oh, it's three again. Okay, we got three. So now you have the 
um the queen of uh pinnacles you have the five of wands and then you have the ace of pinnacles yeah somebody's coming in with an offer competition there was definitely competition here okay there could have definitely been competition between suitors again you got air energy here you got earth energy here okay you got the king of swords aquarius libra as well as gemini the queen of pinnacles uh, capricorn taurus as well as virgo and then you have the ace of pinnacles capricorn taurus as well as virgo okay those are the signs here. It could definitely be a Taurus slash um, Gemini. You could definitely be a Virgo slash Libra. And you could definitely be a uh, Capricorn slash Aquarius cusp baby. Okay. Or any of those signs could be involved. Okay. So it says, I can, I will. End of story. <laughs> told you look i can i will end of story you this person is determined to win you and uh, by all means necessary it says i am the architect of my life i build its foundation and choose um chose its uh content what man bro i hit this even these cars is like bro you they this person is gonna make sure it's loud and clear that he schemed up everything that has happened the way that he he illustrated everything that happened the way it did it did maybe not everything but the majority of it is a part of his creativity he's the architect of this okay even the competition <laughs> just watch you okay so it says i give myself permission to do what is right for me so this was reversed okay so the ace of pentacles so somebody could definitely be ending a relationship or an, an offer stability that could also be a situation okay can't touch me i got instincts somebody could be making a decision like i said they're surrendering so they i give myself permission they're no longer giving their self permission I feel like that's what this person's doing. There, that's their surrender. That's this person's surrender. I, a giver of compromise, washes away my anger. Is that a giver? I think it is a giver of, of oh no excuse me a giver of compassion washes away my anger and replaces it with love i allow myself to be who i am without judgment i give myself space to grow and learn i give myself the care and the attention that i deserve so yeah, I, I feel like whoever this is, they if y'all have been separated from one another, they have healed themselves mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. They allowed themselves to, you know, it, let's say if there was sabotaging that was going on and betrayal and ego and pride that was all involved in how this person moved and operated towards you, they had to let go of that, right? Any resentment, any burdenness, any oh dang, I, you know, I, 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 I made a decision to do everything like, you know, let's say even if this, you, you got this person caught up in stuff, it was still their decision to do what they did. Right. But they didn't expect you to catch on to what they was doing or they didn't expect to get caught up or they underestimated you at the end of the day. Cause this person surrendering for something. One more card and we going to end this. We have a uh, Malachite. So it says transformation, openness, and love. You got love here twice. I, what they want. You got the four of pinnacles here. Money. What they want. What they want. What they want. Dollar signs is as well. What they want. So some of these could be good signs. Stones that you could get. You need to wear to activate yourself, right? You got Malachite, Amaz uh, Amazite, Ammonite, 
Okay, Amazite Knight. I know I ain't probably pronouncing that right. Cardillion and Pearl and Malachite. Okay, one more card. Yeah, because this video got longer than what I want. I said I'm probably gonna change this from an inspirational reading. You know what? I'm still gonna say more than inspirational. I don't know. If it don't say more than inspiration, you know I changed it to possibly an energy reading. Because I feel like somebody's masculine came in and, and, and uh, hijacked this more than inspiration reading. Because there could be something popping off tomorrow morning or tomorrow, tomorrow period. So it says, I am the B word. I ain't going to say that. I am abundant with, with and I am... I am grateful with an incredible family and wonderful friends. For the ones of your family members and friends that are doing right by you, everybody else, they can kiss your ass. We gonna, who wants your money? Yeah, there we go. You just pointed out to all the puppets because you know that does not exist. They, you, you smart. <laughs> And they talking like you the dumbest, okay? So you know that that is not true. That there's not a perfect world of family members and friends where everybody gets along with one another. It don't work that way. Okay, they gave you Cain and Abel story to tell you that it didn't. And all them other ones. Okay, so it says, I am love and I am purpose. I was made with divine intention. They also gave you a... Uh, uh seth and uh uh i you uh you, you seth and osiris they gave you a lot of stories well shit they didn't give you that to you america i mean united states shit because jamaica and them understand they didn't give that to you united states because you didn't learn any of that shit they taught you greek mythology that had to do with your true people and they used names to cover up who they their energy was switch the names out so it says, I am love, I am purpose, I was made with divine intention. So you got here, you have the king of cups. So you definitely could have two different masculines with this wand of energies. So you could have a sword energy. Well, shit, this could represent Lib Libra slash Scorpio energy. You got Libra slash Scorpio. You have, um, so Libra slash Scorpio, Aquarius slash pisces and gemini slash cancer energy could be here too as cusp energies and there's no such thing as earth and water okay so i am love i am purpose i was made with divine intervention <laughs> Divine intervention. I feel like somebody getting ready to have a divine intervention, but that's not what it says. A divine intention. Intentions. Divine intentions. Oh my goodness. Now that I see why they made me pick up this card and reread that. I was made with divine intentions, regardless if it was good or bad. Wow. Whoever this is, they got their card, they cup open to you. They did. They got their cup open to you. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and end this reading. Make sure you thumbs up this reading. Love y'all and y'all be safe and y'all have a good rest of your day because this will be aired at 630 in the morning.